In this video, I will run speed test between the iPhone 11 and the new Google Pixel 5. This is Variety Stick and let's find out. Now for the pricing, on the time we're recording the video, the iPhone 11 around $699. Apple will drop the phone a little bit because they just released the iPhone 12 while the Google Pixel 5 right now currently available for $699. Now for the specifications, iPhone 11 consider a flagship phone from Apple with A13 Pionic chip while the Google Pixel 5 still count as a mid-range device with Snapdragon 765G for the prices. So now the Google Pixel 5 has 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. The model that I have with me here, the Apple phone, has 4GB uh, of RAM and 64GB of internal storage. I just want to pay your attention, this video is not comprehensive comparison between these two phones, so I'm not comparing every aspect in this video, but if you guys are interested to see side-by-side -side comparison, please leave this in a comment below. Now this speed test video will go with four different stages. The first stage we're going to turn off both phones, reboot the system just to see which phone is going to load the operating system faster than the other. Apple has the iOS 14.1 and the Pixel has Android 11. So different operating system here, one from Android and one from Apple. And then we will go with the browsing the internet in the second stage, just to see the Wi-Fi capability and the browsing capability. And then on the third stage, we will have apps and games. We're gonna open at the same time, just to see which phone is gonna load these games faster. Now in the fourth stage and the final stage, we will reopen the apps and games on the ROM, just to check how the RAM is gonna work for both phones. In each stage, we give the winner a point. At the end, we take the aggregate. Round one, the booting test. So we're gonna turn on both phones together at the same moment. And it seems to me the Pixel was a bit faster than Apple to load the operating system. So in round one, we're gonna give the first point to the Google Pixel 5 to bring the result 1-0 to the Pixel. Round two, browsing test. I'm using Chrome. I cleaned the history in both phones and both phones connected to the same Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and start browsing the internet. The first website we're gonna visit will be GSM Arena. And that actually goes to the iPhone. I have noticed that the iPhone loaded the ad faster than the Google Pixel 5, but let's keep going and go check phonearena.com. Phonearena.com, I noticed the Pixel was a bit faster, but let's keep going and check cnn.com. That seems to me the iPhone loaded CNN faster than the Pixel, but let's keep going and visit the BBC.com. It looks like the iPhone was faster to browse the internet than the Google Pixel 5. So in this round, we're gonna give a point to the iPhone to bring the result 1-1. Round three, we're gonna open apps games at the same time. I cleaned the history, so no recent apps open in both phones, as you guys can see. So let's start fresh and start with my turn two. It looks like the Pixel loaded the game faster. And the iPhone is taking a long time to load this game, so let's keep going, check Twitter. That went to the iPhone. Uh, what about TikTok? It seems to me the iPhone faster. Timber run too. Loaded faster on the iPhone. We're gonna check Asphalt 9.
put it faster on the pixel. And the iPhone is taking long time right now. And also I have noticed after updating the iPhone to iOS 14.1 that the phone actually start to be slow. So I'm not quite sure if this is just my phone or if you guys one of the iPhone owners, let me know in the comment below. So that went actually to the Pixel. Let's check another game and we're gonna check Need for Speed No Limit. And the Pixel loaded the game faster than the iPhone. You guys need to take on the consideration the Pixel is a mid-range phone while the iPhone 11 one of the previous iPhone flagship. But let's keep going. Sonic 2 loaded faster on the Pixel. The Pixel is fast and uh, we're gonna take the last game which is Subway Surface. That actually loaded on the iPhone faster than the uh, Pixel. Now, the Pixel was uh, faster in the heavier games that requires uh, more processing and more RAM. So I would say the Pixel did better job than the iPhone. That's just in my opinion. If you disagree, you can leave this also in a comment below. So in this stage, we're gonna give the Pixel the second point to bring the result to Pixel 1 iPhone. Round 4 and the final round, we're going to reopen the apps and the games we just opened just to see how the RAM management in both phones taken in consideration 4GB of RAM to 8GB of RAM. Now, let me just show you that we have all the apps still open on the background on both phones. And let's start reopening these games in apps. We're going to start with My Time 2. Both kept it, so both so far so good. Twitter, also both did good job. TikTok, no problems. Simple run too, no problem here. Asphalt 9, both actually also kept it on the run, both doing good so far. Need for Speed, also both did a great job here, Sonic Dash 2, both also doing great so far, and Subway Surface, both actually did the same performance with the RAM, so I would say this round will be a draw, so we're gonna give each device a point to bring the result to the, the iPhone, to bring the result two to the iPhone and a three to the Google Pixel 5. Honestly, I was a little bit shocked about the result. I didn't expect the Google Pixel 5 to pass the iPhone with 13 Pionic chip from Apple. I was expecting Apple to be faster to load the operating system, but I believe Apple need to push more ROM to the phone to make the phone more snappier and faster. Anyways, the Google Pixel 5 is the winner in this video. Let me know what do you think about this in the comment below. Also, subscribe to Variety Stick if you haven't already. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button and I will see you in the next video. Peace.